What's up, everyone? Vu of Envu Films, and I am back with another idiotic video for you to watch. And today, I'm here to tell you not to buy the Aperture MC RGB light. And the reason being is not because it's like cheap or it's necessarily a bad product. Uh, I just think for what most videographers, filmmakers, photographers need is bright, color accurate, and good quality, usable light with good build quality. And yes, this does fit the bill. Um, and it also has some extra things such as app control and this handy little magnet here that pretty much sticks to anything metal. If you can see that. But my problem with it is it's really not that bright and it's expensive compared to other competition. It is like about a hundred bucks, 105 bucks. I think when I got it, it was $90. So I don't really understand the price increase in it, but uh, it is pretty expensive for a relatively, in my opinion, dim light um, at max. It just does not seem to be as bright as the other lights that are available that you could buy for much cheaper. Uh, and here I actually have two of them. I have the Andy Cine R1 Pocket RGB light which you see right here. And last time I checked for the pricing, it is $70. Um, links in the description below. And this is a fantastic light. It does everything. And as you can see just right there, I just turned it on, it's a lot brighter than this MC. It, matter of fact, it is actually as bright as a more expensive, usually around like $140, $150 Bowling P1 light, which I will not discuss today just because it's even more expensive than Aperture, but it's okay because it is brighter. It is more robust, I think. Um, it doesn't have the app controls, but to be app controls, things of that nature is really gimmicky. I don't know how many videographers, filmmakers sit there, turn their light on and you know, knowingly just use it, set up using their phone and all that stuff. Like pretty much for me, I just set it to what I need for the shoot and I forget it. That's it. I don't sit there and change the light 18 times with the app. And even if I had to, walking up to the light and just changing it on the light takes about two, three seconds. So I don't know why, you know, just picking up your phone, looking, you know, opening up the app, going through all the settings and stuff probably takes more than me actually walking up to the light and just changing it, which is why I usually don't use app control stuff for things such as my lights, such as my gimbals. I just turn them on and I just use them as is. So to, like I said, kind of gimmicky and for a hundred bucks versus $70, you get a brighter light. And which leads to me the other light, which is the Laofast Rainbow Fresh RGB Video Light, which is pretty much a little bit smaller than the uh, and Andy Sydney R1, slightly smaller, as you can see here, barely. Um, it's not as bright, but it's still brighter than the Aperture Light by a good amount, in my opinion. Um, and shocker of the century, you know how much this light costs? Oh, again, thankfully I have Asian eyes or else I'll be blind. This light actually only costs $40 and it has full RGB. It also has all those fancy modes, lightning, police, flashing, all those, all these lights have that these days. Okay. So if you're looking for like a light that has the RGB lights, the special effects lights, lightning, police cars, uh, whatever flashing you know lights as if you're watching a, t a tv um all those features are available on these lights give or take one or two and i don't think you know having one versus the other is going to change you know your your mind in terms of like what you want to which light you want to buy um but one of the unique things about this light and surprisingly the cheaper one forty dollars it actually has um on the screen itself it will tell you how much time is left in the battery. So if you look closely here, there we go. You can see that it says there's like eight hours remaining or yeah, six and a half hours or so. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty unique. And they all charge with USB-C. So the Andy Cine for $70 will come with a gray pouch like this, your USB-C charging cable, and this little uh, cold shoe mount for the light. The Laofast actually comes with a little mini tripod to connect to it from Paragear. 
Um, in here is another, I, I believe it's another, it's a little uh, cold shoe mount as well for the loud fast light. And it also comes with, of course, the USB-C cable for charging and a pouch. So they all come with pouch cables and you know various mounting systems for you to use. Yeah, pretty simple. So Andy Sene R1 Laofast Rainbow RGB light. The Andy Sene is slightly brighter, a little bit dimmer, $70, $40, and of course this little dim aperture light that all YouTubers seem to be reviewing and Aperture sends them for free and they swear this is like the best light ever. And to be quite honest, all of these lights are pretty color accurate. Um, the only thing this thing has is the name. And of course, uh, YouTube Doucher uh, promotion and it has app controls, but it is not very bright. And to me, the more output, the more usable it is. And of course, the aperture is smaller too, as you can see. It is slightly smaller than the Laofast, uh, which again, slightly smaller than the Ande Cine light. And yeah, but it's also more expensive. So this is probably the best bang for the buck right here, the Laofast for $40. But for some more output, I do recommend getting the Ande Cine R1, which I feel like it's comparable to the Bowling P1, but the Bowling P1 is like $150. So that's like $50 more than the Anisene, which I told was the most expensive one. Um, but real quick, I'm gonna show you like how I usually use these lights for my YouTube setup. So right now all I have is this one key light, right? I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the uh, Anisene R1, and I'm gonna set the color uh, to, I don't know, teal. And I'm going to change, oops, put the brightness up to, 100%. So the Anisini is now up there. Just gives me a little bit of like a detail accent light up there on the uh, little like audio foam. Gives it a little bit of more contrast, more detail. M makes the background a little more interesting. And of course this light, the Laofast, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy on. It's currently in green. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to just a standard 5200K. So the Laofast, I just stuck over there in the back corner. The Anisini, I put it up there. And now I have a little bit of like a, maybe this is a little bit too hot. Probably could have put it down to like 20% or so. This is at 40%. And then that's how I would do a YouTube three point lighting. Got the key light, got some detail light. I don't even know what I would call that. And I got the, the hair light, the rim light, whatever you want to call this one over here. And that's how, how I'd use these lights usually. And of course I have color options and all those things. So now I'm holding them. Um, took them off the background there. Pretty much. You could do anything you want with these lights just by hitting these buttons here. So you want to change the color. I believe the Laofast can go up to 8,500 Kelvin down to 2,500 Kelvin. And the Anisine can go from 7,000 down to 2,500. So quite a bit of range in terms of like the buy color and full range of the RGB spectrum, obviously. So if I just switch modes, um, this is, you know, it could, it could go from blue, teal, green, yellow, orange, red. So both of these lights can do that. Same thing as the more expensive actual light, but again, these are a lot brighter. So if you're looking right now, if you're looking for like these pocketable, um, portable light that you could pretty much take anywhere. And I believe every filmmaker, even every photographer should have a light like this in their backpack. I mean, there's no reason why you shouldn't, um, just to be able to do creative things. Um, in desperation, you may even, to be quite honest, use this as a key light, uh, if, you know, if you had to. So this is the cheaper one. I'm going to show you, this is the, uh, so loud fast, I'm gonna go ahead and set this today. I'm gonna turn off this key light and I'm gonna just use this 30, this $40 light as a key light real quick. Honestly, this is even way too bright and it'll probably need some type of diffusion, but I'm gonna just lower the brightness real quick. It's definitely way too hard to be a key light, but I think with proper diffusion, you could probably 
do some type of key lighting with this. How about that? I just actually took the little like, this is actually a little diffusion box that comes with the Aptra light. I'm gonna go ahead and just place it right here, right in front. And you know, still quite a hard light, probably a little bit too dramatic, but you can see you could definitely use this as a creative light, creative key light for a dramatic effect such as this. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this key light back on. So again, guys, excellent value for these two lights here, okay? You want the brighter light, $70 from Andy Cine. It's the Andy Cine R1 RGB light. And if you want the cheaper, slightly dimmer, still brighter than the Aperture MC ripoff, uh, this is the Laofast Rainbow Fresh RGB light. Um, links are in the description below. Uh, if you have any other questions with regards to these lights, just let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I am always telling people to buy quality stuff. Um, but at the same time, it's not always about the brand, okay? All these lights are made in China. That does not mean they're China cheap. And matter of fact, most things that we buy as cinematographers, filmmakers, photographer, they're made in China. So they're both very high quality materials here. Um, probably some plastic and some metal, but overall very nicely built. Um, I have no complaints about their build quality. Definitely, I feel like, you know, they'll definitely take a few drops. Um, and it will have no problem sitting in your gear bag. Um, yeah, so with that being said, guys, that is it for today. I hope this video is helpful. Um, again, links in the description below for these two lights, whatever you'd like to buy. Definitely well worth the money and usability, in my opinion, than something like the Aperture or even the Bowling P1. Until next time, guys, literally, lighten up.